Um, well, in the second demo, we will see the same steps, but for a C project, um, MBTLS. So uh, any other question before proceeding to the C version of the demo? Yeah, sounds good. OK. Uh, in this case, uh, we use MBTLS, which is a suite of cryptographic algorithms written, written in C. It is mainly used for embedded systems, uh, thanks to the uh, low memory footprint. Um, so uh, we have to start uh, with generating the compile commands. In this case, I have it already generated, but uh, this project uses CMake, so it is uh, very simple. You only have to add the flag dash dash, exp uh, dash export compile commands. So this one. So uh, yeah, you have uh, the CMake invocation uh, that you are already have for, for your project, and you only have to add one flag, th this one, the CMake, uh, this one, export compile commands equal on, or equal one, it is the same. And this will generate the compile commands uh, automatically without the need, the need of any uh, third-party tool like Bear. Um, so, and we always recommend to compile the code before running Kodi. Um, because uh, for example, uh, th this uh, happens uh, very, very often with uh, CMake that the compile commands is generated at the CMake in invocation level before the actual uh, uh, build. So before the actual compiling step. So if you generate the compile commands and you and you don't compile the code, some of the source files uh, may may that so some of the source files defined in the compile commands may not exist because some of those files are generated automatically during the the compilation step. So we recommend generating the compile commands with CMake, but don't forget to compile with CMake dash dash build or or make or ninja. Um, so generating compile commands, compiling, and now it is it is ready for Kodi. Kodi screening and compile. Oops. Commands build compile commands. Kodi is reading the compile commands located in the build directory. And here we have the results, uh, 1,300 checkers. Um, in total, 263 source files analyzed. Um, and it, the analysis took 22 seconds. Here we have, uh, again, the, the checkers uh, split across the different checker types with the number of occurrences of each one, ordered by priority. And here we have the auto fixes available for these two checkers vectorization checkers. And let's proceed with a checks report. Now, um, since the, in the previous demo, we, we used a Fortran project, but we were pursuing a Fortran modernization uh, checkers. Now we are trying to optimize MBTLS. Uh, so we, we need to uh, be aware of wh where the hotspots are. In this case, one of the hotspots is located in the library AES. Uh, let's see this one uh, where the AES encryption algorithms and decryption algorithms are. So we will repeat the same screening report, but now adding the, the filter library AES.c to reduce the scope to that particular file. So here we have the screening report for this file, just in case. In case I have uh, already applied some um, auto fixes, now the code is in, in the original version. And here we can see 36 checks. We have an auto fix available 
from the recommendation 53, vectorization opportunity, seven occurrences, so seven loops that can be vectorized. Um, and let's run the checks report then. Uh, so we change the screening with checks, or, or we can copy and paste it from here also. We always leave suggestions at the bottom of the output. Um, so code checks, compile commands, build, compile commands, JSON, library, write and check ID PWR 53, because we are interested in this one that has an autofix. And here we can see, uh, Kodi identifies these loops as vectorizable, starting with this one, 10, 4, 8. So this one. And let's add the verbose flag, verbose to see more details and all the writing options. And for vectorization, uh, Kodi, um can be the code writer can be invoked for an entire file uh, or for an entire function. Uh, that that was one of the questions uh, from yesterday. Uh, ca can I apply auto fixes for entire files? The answer is yes, in particular for vectorization. So we can copy and paste. Uh, ah, uh, here are the different uh, writing options that we have available for the for the loops. Uh, OpenMP pragmas for SIMD or a compiler specific pragmas. You can use Clang, GCC, or ICC uh, pragmas or a combination of, of them. For example, you can generate GCC and Clang pragmas at once. Um, so uh, it maintains portability across compilers. But of course, OpenMP guarantees that. So in this case, we would be adding uh, the Cindy pragma for this particular um, loop of line 1194, but we're going to remove this filter to leverage this uh, function that I mentioned of applying autofix for an entire file or an entire function. And here we have all the, the results of the autofixes have applied for all the, um, the loops that we've seen with vectorization opportunities. Get diff. Ah, here we can see the the pragmas insert by Kodi along with the with the comments, with a timestamp as always, and the technique applied. You can um, disable this uh, comments insertion with one of the flags of Kodi. You can check it in the help menu if you are interested on in suppressing this uh, these comments. Um, uh, well, you you will see that in some cases, Kodi identifies, yeah, this um, and adds uh, automatically the last private clause to the SIMD uh, pragma. Um, th this is uh, the basic usage of Kodi to um, apply um, auto fixes multiple autofixes at, at once for an entire file in compiler agnostic mode. As we seen to, uh, yesterday, uh, Kodi provides a compiler driven mode for offloading where we've seen how Kodi generate different offloading pragmas for different compilers, in particular for um, Gray and, and Bfortran and GCC or Shifortran. Or, or and Kodi also um, behaves uh, the, uh, differently from the compiler agnostic mode for vectorization. We will add, as we did today, the dash dash compiler driven mode. First, I have to get store, remove the changes made by Cody. And here we have the um, compiler driven mode report for vectorization. Here, Kodi identifies um, the vectorization report message uh, that um, that it parses from the compiler. Kodi, behind the scenes, uh, invokes your target compiler 
only in compiler driven mode when you use this compiler driven mode flag. It invokes your target compiler behind the scenes asking for uh, the vectorization report and Kodi parse those um those messages and Kodi will not apply SIMD pragmas to a given loop if your target compiler already auto vectorized that, that loop in order to reduce um reduce the the noise because many, many customers um ask us to to not insert SIMD pragmas if their compiler already did the job so that's uh, the functionality that covers those cases. In this case, GCC could not vectorize any of, of the pragmas with, with this configuration. Uh, so Kodi added the auto fixes out automatically. Uh, so the, the vectorization. And in case um, Kodi could not add uh, the vectorization pragmas, here you can see the reason. And um, Right, first, since uh, MBTLS does not use OpenMP as default, we have to add the F and MP. SIMD in this case, because uh, we are only interested on SIMD pragmas. This way, um, we are not including the OpenMP libraries. This is important for embedded systems uh, in order to keep the memory uh, footprint small. And make leave and make programs and we will run the benchmark. Let's run the, the function of AES XCX. Here we have the result for the optimized version by Cody. So the vectorized version. Now, now we will run the original version. I I run a git restore, so the the changes, the pragmas are no longer there. Git diff. Yep. And. Let's run the benchmark. And here we have the results. So if we compare them, we can see in a speed up of around 20% after applying CMD pragmas automatically for the entire uh, file. Uh, this 20% may not sound uh, crazy uh, for H HPC, but uh, trust me that for embedded users, uh, this is a lot in many cases when when they work with uh um which has a seconds of speed up that they are looking for um and now let's try with applying the pragmas but using other compiler for example um Config GCC. I will change GCC eleven with GCC thirteen. Yeah, and now let's uh, invoke the Codira write in compiler driven mode with GCC thirteen, and here we can see how GCC thirteen is finally able to vectorize some of the of the um, of the loops. And in, in those uh, loops that GCC 13 is able to vectorize, Kodi will not vectorize them. This is why we see here an skipped uh, label. Kodi could uh, apply the SIMD pragma, yes, but your compiler already do that job, so Kodi won't insert it. And if you don't add the flag compiler driven mode, Kodi uh, will insert it as always. So that was the demo, the last demo for today. Uh, any question? Uh, here with this demo, we we uh, cover a lot of different topics. So perhaps 